Hi, it's Barry. Welcome back to my channel. As promised, here's another video relating to the 2024 cloth and paper spiral planner in the horizontal layout. So in the last video, which I'll link up here, I gave you a very deep dive into this planner, but I promised that what I would do is talk about how I am accessorizing mine and also some ideas on alternative uses. Some of you have already decided what you want to use for the calendar portion of your planner and it may not be in this spiral. It may be somewhere else, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't use this planner. There's lots of ideas. So let's dive in. I've got the first two pages clipped with the cover because they layer so well. It opens up to my This Belongs To page, which I've talked about before. We got these wonderful top tab dividers with this. So the first one that I'm actually using is one that says today. And where I decided to put it is right opposite the holidays and the conversion because I do come back and refer to this and so it's an easy way to get to it. Then what I decided to do is add in the the Aesthete dashboard. So it's basically announcing the rest of my planner. In the last sub box, we got these lovely Mykonos transparent stickers. So what I have here are just some important things that I want to do, especially some of the things that maybe I should be doing today, like packing for Chicago Planner Conference. <laughs> So that's the today. Then I get to this month and that I just have open so that I can see the month as a whole. Now, what I thought went really well here, we got these really nice clear index tabs a couple months ago. So this just comes off. So what I've used to write on this is just a Lecce square page flag. And the reason that I picked the Lecce is because it's the one that I think is the clearest. Just like with the Mykonos circle stickies on the Lecce page flag, I'm going to be using the Uni Pin Pen. It's an oil-based pen and it dries instantly and pretty much anything else I've ever used has smeared and you don't want to go through that. So these can go anywhere in your planner and there's one that says to do, this one is priorities, and then I also am using this one here, which is this week. And if you put it in this location, it's kind of near your other to-do list, but you can still see the month. And here I just use two Lecce page flags to put these in. And here I have the third divider, which is this week. So you can also use the today divider, which comes in the spiral, the same as the S the dashboard, and I'll have everything linked below. This today divider can go anywhere. I also chose to use this page marker, and I will most likely put a label on the top. Where I decided to put this was right before the contact page, because I will be using those. So there are a number of things that you'll find in the shop that fit in the spiral so that you can customize your planner to your own liking. Because I want mine to be very minimal, I'm gonna use the Mykonos Circle sticky notes as my only sticky notes in here. And then I'm gonna use the spotlight flags, uh, the 01 volume that coordinates really well with this. And I use these to get to a specific page. I may or may not write on them, again, using the Uni Pin Pen or you can use a label on here. I will also be using the new arrow flags that will be in the November box. If you remember, these were going to be in the annotation box in the October box, but there was a delay. So they're actually in your November box, but we got a bonus, which is the Mykonos circle sticky note. So that was really a great thing. Now, how I see the using these arrow flags differently from the spotlight flags. The spotlight flags I use to get to a page. The arrow flags are different because you can point to a specific area on the page and write something directly for that. So I really feel that you need both. They look like they might be similar and you can use them however you want, but I 
feel that they definitely will have two different uses in my planners. So the big question is, if you've already decided what you're using for your schedule, how do you use this planner? Because like maybe you're in an A5 or a half letter or a personal or whatever it is. Now you have another planner in an A5 spiral size. Well, don't despair. There's a lot of different ways you can use this. Let me go through a few of them. So one way that I think is very helpful to people is to use this to capture notes and things that happen. So it would be a companion planner and you can write notes down like you were on a phone call and can make notes without taking up your entire planner with that. If you use it for work that way, it could be something that's just left in your office. Another way to use this is as a memory planner. You can use this to highlight all the memories. You can print out small photos to put in it and capture lots of memories that you've made in your life. That's a pretty common use of this. Recently, one of my lovely viewers told me another use that she was going to use it for, and I think it makes a lot of sense, which is that she's using hers as a finance planner. She can put down spending to be able to look at that and also bills, etc. So that's another idea. Another popular idea would be to use this as a fitness planner. And maybe you are monitoring your weight and also what you do in the gym or your steps or whatever. You could use the monthly pages to track some of that data. And then you could use weekly pages to deal with um, your nutrition, like what you ate and monitor that out monitor your sleep, etc. You could take it one step further and make this your wellness planner. So you could incorporate some or all of those things, but then also do uh, tracking of your blood pressure or glucose or anything health-wise that you track, and then having all your doctor's appointments or that you need to make an appointment, things like that, what your mood was. A fitness planner and also the wellness planner can really help for your own well-being. Another alternative is to use this for your social media. If you monitor and track and plan your social media, this will work perfectly because you come back to your monthly pages and you can do your stats, like uh, how many followers did you have on Instagram or whatever it is. Then you can use the weekly pages to plan out your content. This is the day I do my YouTube or here's a reel that I'm uploading on this day, etc. You'll have plenty of room to do all of that in this one planner. So you can take this and just make it as an additional planner in your collection that will serve your needs. Of course, the best use is giving this as a gift. You can give this as a gift by itself or purchase the entire monthly subscription box which has all the accessories for it. And it's a wonderful gift for the holidays or any time. And hopefully some of those ideas will be helpful. Of course, there's a giveaway and I'll be giving away something that you can use in your spiral planner. All you have to do is be sure you're subscribed, subscribe to the email list. And if you're not already subscribed, there's always a link below. Just be sure to confirm when you get the email back and leave me a comment below. How are you going to use your spiral planner? I'm really anxious to know. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time around.